Hi, everyone. I'm Dan the My Little Pony and Sophia the First Fan. I'm going to be telling you a fairy tale story called The Four Musicians. Here we go. An old donkey lives in a big green pasture. The donkey loves working for the farmer and pulling the farmer's cart to and from town. Sometimes the donkey's back gets sore and the loads seem to get heavier and heavier, but the donkey is happy to be needed by the farmer. One day, the donkey sees the farmer talking to his neighbor. The donkey is very curious. He itches closer to hear what the farmer is saying. Yes, Walter, I hate to give up that old donkey, said the farmer. That's a shame, Walter says. He's such a nice donkey, too. The farmer shakes his head and says, My crops are getting bigger and bigger. Next season will be the biggest crop yet. I need a stronger worker to pull the cart. The donkey cannot believe his big floppy ears. Hey -ah! The farmer does not want me anymore, says the donkey. The donkey is very sad. The donkey loves to sing. So he decides right there that he will move to the town of Bremen to become a musician. On his way to Bremen, the donkey meets the dog who lives in the blue house down the lane. The dog looks very sad. He does not look like a playful pup who runs around the donkey's pasture. What is wrong? asked the donkey. My master thinks that I am too old to hunt anymore, says the dog. The donkey's ears perk up. He tells the dog of his plan to become a musician. Bow wow, I am a great singer, says the dog. The donkey and the dog walk down the road toward Bremen. So they meet another sad face. Is it the cat from the house by the brook? The donkey and the dog ask her, why is she sad? Oh, meow. My master thinks I am too old to catch mice, says the cat. The dog and the donkey quickly invite the cat to join their musical group in Bremen. The donkey, the dog, and the cat practice singing as they walk down the road to Bremen. Hee-haw, says the donkey. Bow-wow, bellows the dog. Meow, hums the cat. They think they are very fine singers. They cannot wait to sing in front of the audience in Bremen. Soon, they see something in the road. It is the rooster from the dairy farm. The rooster's face is droopy and does not look happy. Why aren't you crowing, rooster? asked the donkey. How can I crow? I am too sad, said the, says the rooster. The farmer bought a new alarm clock. He says he does not need an old rooster like me anymore. The donkey, the dog, and the cat tell the rooster about their plan to become musicians. cock a doodle doo I can sing too, the crows the happy rooster. Now the donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster make their way to the town of Bremen. The four friends 
walk until nighttime. They are very tired as they stop to rest. The donkey sees a light far off in the distance. Look over there, says the donkey. That light must mean we are very close to a house. They are all very hungry and cannot wait to eat and rest for the evening. The dog, the cat, and the rooster listen closely to the donkey. The donkey tells them that they can get food and a place to sleep at the house. They can sing for the people who live there like proper musicians. The four friends walk up to the house. They stand outside the window, one on top of the other, and get ready to sing. Inside the house, they see some men counting piles of money. The men of lots of good food to eat. The four musicians know that they must sing as loudly as they possibly can to get some tasty food. They open their mouths and sing. Hee-haw! Bow wow! Meow! cock a doo The men inside the house jump out of their seats. They looked out the window and see a four-headed beast making a terrible noise. The men are robbers, and they think they are four-headed beast is punishing them for stealing. Quickly, the men run from the house. They do not look back as they head into the woods. The donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster are surprised when the men leave in such a hurry. They must be going to get more people to hear our music, says the donkey. We should make ourselves right at home. We want to be rested for our next performance. The donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster settled into the house. They have a big, wonderful meal. They each go to bed with a full tummy. The robbers never do come back to the house. But the four musicians sing every single day just in case. And that is the end of this fairy tale story. I hope you guys enjoy story time with me. I will see you soon. Bye bye.